Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Pedal Therapy and this week we're checking out the brand new Element series by Cattle and Bread Effects. <laughs> What is up guys, my name is Guillaume, welcome to Tomen's Guitars and Basses. I'm hoping you guys are having a beautiful day today. I am, I'm very excited to be trying out uh, this new Element series by Cattle and Bread FX. Uh, today's a bit of an off-cut of our pedal therapy format. We used to do that with Chris. Today he's not in the house, but I'm still trying out cool stuff. So I thought, let's film it. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, yeah, we're starting with the uh, Elements uh, series, which is sort of the less is more uh, bang for your buck sort of trend that's been going on lately with a lot of uh, US uh, manufacturers and just sort of boutique guitar effect manufacturers putting out a more streamlined version of very basic and high demand sort of effect pedals and that's what Calvin Bread is doing with the elements. Uh, so we have three pedals on the menu today that is an overdrive, a distortion and a fuzz. So all three pedals follow the exact same schematics. The knob is a master output, master volume control. So you have very limited control as far as like what the pedal, the type of clipping, the type of EQ that you're going to get. It's been dialed in for you and it's been very well dialed in to be honest. So we're going to start with the overdrive. I'll give you a little bit of single uh, sounds with the split on that Harley Benton Fusion um, Super ST. Uh, instrument. I'm also running the SRAM and Flitten for a little bit of reverb into the Rev D20 and the Harley Benton 2x12 cab with Celestion 75, cream back 75, cream back speaker on that side. Uh, so yeah, let's start with the overdrive and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the other two uh, effects at hand. <laughs> So we have a very, very sweet overdrive, very amp-like type of uh, response. So it's gritty, it's not particularly mid-pushed, although it is, don't get me wrong, it is mid-pushed, but still a very sort of throaty reaction. It cleans up really, really well. So if you're using coil splits, so you want to uh, keep the, the maximum amount of control over your overdrive and just kind of have it as an always on and then juggle with the tone volume knobs on your guitar. This is a really, really good example of that. So really cool overdrive, now let's have a look at the distortion pedal. So just as I mentioned about the overdrive pedal, the distortion is built exactly the same. It's a single knob pedal that controls the master volume, the output of that pedal, everything else is dialed in. Uh, it's a very amp-like distortion. Again, it's not particularly uh, tight like a modern metal amp or a, a 
distortion that would have been boosted in, for example, but it's your perfect 70s, 80s rock machine type of distortion. It's got tons of low end, it still retains the high mid range and treble, so you're not missing any frequencies, but yeah, just super, super rich type of distortion. And with that said, let's jump onto the final pedal of that series, that is the fuzz pedal. <laughs> Now that's the pedal that I was most excited about because Catlin bread fuzzes are in my experience absolutely awesome and this one is no exception. It's a very modern take on a type of silicon fuzz face thing that we've seen in the past. It's, uh, it's their circuit absolutely and it sounds immense it's really good it cleans up in that nice sort of sputtery way a little bit scratchy uh, i'm using all the fuzz words in the world it's not the clean sort of uh very icy sort of clean up that you get on vintage units so it's definitely a fuzz that's tailored to be used in isolation as well you don't necessarily need to put it into a cranked amplifier or into another overdrive pedal like this is just the fuzz into the clean rev d20 as i mentioned in the beginning of the video so yeah it's absolutely awesome super rich very very thick it has a cleanup uh, it's super quiet as well so very usable fuzz i'm super excited about this one mostly because all three of those pedals are one like 160 maybe 169 or something like that so they're uh, you know affordable boutique pedals um go check out the link in the description if you want the price if you want all the descriptions uh, you can make your own opinion about the sounds, but I'm very, very impressed by those. And generally all those new series of more affordable pedals, uh, still handmade, still made in the US, uh, because that just, yeah, that just allowing a lot more people to go into that very, very, very deep rabbit hole <laughs> that is collecting pedals and, uh, and, uh, and playing them too, because they sound awesome. So yeah, that's about it, about the new Catlin Bread Element series. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, please drop a like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Which one of these three did you prefer? What do you think about that single knob design? Do you want more flexibility? Are you a set and forget type of player? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll check them out very soon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye.